Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today we're working on the interior of my brand new 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S, more specifically on the leather surfaces. And we're also gonna be protecting the fabric mats. So I'm gonna show you the tools and the products that we're gonna use, of course, to do the job. You're gonna learn all the tips and tricks. So you know the drill without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. But before we go ahead and do so, if you're new to my channel and wanna to continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. While you're down there, hit the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. So today, we're in the interior of my 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S. If you also haven't seen the unveiling video, go check that out. It was super emotional and I shared that moment with my viewers. Uh, also, we did the full exterior ceramic coating job, so check that out as well. I'll leave the links to those videos in the description under this video. Uh, and we also did the first maintenance wash, so if you wanna go see all that, it was super fun. And I'm sharing this series of episodes with you guys, so uh, we do the full treatment on the vehicle. So today we're focusing more specifically on the uh, leather surfaces, so the leather seats, leather steering wheel, the um, leather on the shifter knob, the door cards, door panels, so on and so forth. And we're also uh, going to be protecting the floor mats and the fabric inside the vehicle. By the way, any tools, equipment, or products that I'm talking about today will be linked in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So if we start with the leather. What we'll be using today are products from McKees 37. I know a lot of you viewers uh, enjoy their products and I've been testing a lot of them recently and I'm in love. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. So um, McKees, by the way, sent these products for free, but this is not a paid review. And we're also going to be using for the fabric, CarPro fabric. So this here is a water and stain resistant protectant for fabric seats, for your uh, carpeted floor mats, so on and so forth. So it helps prevent liquid spills, makes them easier to pick up has uv protection as well but if we first start with the leather now this is a brand new vehicle so the seats are obviously brand new uh, but what we're going to be using today for the coating is the sio2 ceramic series or sio2 leather guard by mckees 37 so basically a coating for leather and before you apply this they highly recommend to of course clean the leather uh, by the way clean leather is always matte in appearance so if it's glossy well that means there's a lot of bottom oils and fluids on there and you need to clean that it should have a matte appearance so they recommend their leather shampoo 70 30 which is a cleaner and uh, conditioner all in one so very very easy to use uh, you sprayed just a little bit because these I mean were brand new so use a um, leather brush I like this color lock leather brush that's specifically designed for leather so you spray it on the surface or on a microfiber towel you apply it and with the uh, brush, you're gonna brush that leather up to a lather, so that's gonna lift the uh, soiling, the dirt, the oils, and all that kind of stuff. And then you wipe away with a clean and dry microfiber towel. You want a clean and dry surface to work with. Now, in the past, I've applied leather coatings, such as the uh, Gion leather coat, so a ceramic coating for leather. Uh, also, CarPro C-Quartz leather, so that was another very good coating for leather. And on this vehicle, well, you guys know I like to try different products, and uh, today we'll be applying the uh, SiO2 Leather Guard by McKees. So this is in liquid form, so shake that up. They recommend to use a foam applicator, so this is what we'll do. So you apply a bit of that on there. I have perforated cooled seats. So it works on any leather, by the way. And this is simple. They say to work in circles and you apply directly onto the leather. This goes on like butter. So once again, I know you guys enjoy this when I discover new products and I test them with you as well. So we can discover new products, new brands, I've been really liking the McKees stuff, by the way. I've been testing a lot of their products recently. So maybe they see this video and will want to sponsor a future video on my channel and continue, of course, to help the Pan the Organizer channel continue to grow. But again, today, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video to happen. Just sharing my thoughts and opinions and products that I'm using on my own car with you guys. So that's it. And then they recommend you use 
a clean and dry microfiber towel to buff off any excess. You let it dry and that's pretty much it. Did they say anything about drying? No, play more is needed. Remove uh, excess by gently buffing with a clean dry microfiber towel. Do not apply to suede and that's pretty much it. So it's already dry to the touch. We're still gonna let it cure for a few hours. Obviously you don't wanna use any uh, water or liquids on there, but uh, man, this is super easy because it spreads just as if it was water. That's awesome. So circular motions, and then you apply to the leather surfaces. So by the way, I have many other leather coating tutorials on my channel. Many people ask, what's the difference between using a leather coating, so a ceramic coating that's made for leather compared to a leather guard, a leather shield, or more of a leather sealant, right? Like the color lock leather sealants that I also like. So the sealants typically you'll have to reapply every two to three months. And the leather coatings normally are good for up to 12 months. And so they're more durable, but the entire purpose, regardless of what your choice is, is to have some protection guys against fading and cracking, protection against the UV rays, those are damaging effects of the sun, right? But more importantly, protection against friction damage. So by you going inside and out of your car, there's always some friction on the leather. So it makes it a bit more slippery. So that way there's less friction and also to protect the seats against dye transfer. So when you're sitting, we all know those dreaded blue jean marks, right? On the leather, so that's the dye transfer. So it doesn't necessarily prevent that. It helps alleviate that by making the seats easier to maintain. So for maintenance, it's super simple. Uh, if you use the McKees, you can use their leather shampoo 7030 for maintenance or even just a damp microfiber with water can do the trick. So if you do your maintenance, once a month, the seats should be looking clean and protected. So regardless of what you choose, again, the entire point is that you're protecting your leather against friction damage, against dye transfer, against liquid spills as well, making it easier to clean during your maintenance washes. So that's the entire point, to always make your surfaces easier to wash. And uh, you can also use a leather cleaner diluted, let's say three to one or five to one if you want for maintenance. So I like to clean my interior leather once a month, always stay on top of things and things are gonna be a lot easier to clean and to maintain that way. So as you saw, about a minute for a seat, that's how easy it gets. And now the seat is protected. We're gonna do the same for the rest of the leather surfaces and what we'll be using next to protect the fabric. So if you have fabric seats, you wanna use again some sort of a fabric guard. In this case, I absolutely like the uh, CarPro fabric. It's been working well for me. So water and stain resistant coating. So you basically just spray it on there. Uh, you're gonna let it cure. Usually I let it go for roughly 24 hours. There's a strong smell, so you wanna work in a well-ventilated space. But again, it's gonna prevent uh, any dirt from soaking into the product, especially liquid spills, makes them easier to clean. That's always what you want. So you're basically coating the fibers to make the entire surface easier to maintain. And this is easy. So you would just shake this up like any chemical and spray this generously. There you go. On the mats. And that's as easy as it gets, and that's it, you let it cure. So you now have protected leather. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, steering wheel, the same procedure, uh, all the leather surfaces here on the dash as well, on the uh, sides there in the uh, center console armrest with the embossed Porsche crest, on the door cards, and basically any leather surface. And it's gonna be, well, looking not only smarter, cleaner, but it's gonna be easier to maintain. And I'm gonna keep this looking good for a long time. So regardless of your choice, once again, uh, it doesn't really matter. However, one tip and trick that I received from the guys over at Color Lock, so they're world-renowned leather experts, especially in the automotive field. So what they usually recommend is, a lot of people ask, do I use leather conditioners? So modern leather, so basically in the last 20 years or more, is clear coated. So kind of like your paint there on your paintwork, you have the clear coat right on your paint. Well, there's kind of a plastic film or transparent coating on top of the leather that protects it, gives it durability and helps a bit with UV fading and cracking. So if you're putting a conditioner that doesn't penetrate that layer, so there's no point in doing that. Usually you'll use uh, conditioners on older leathers, on cracked and faded ones to restore kind of the supple nature or that soft feel. 
But on modern leather and new leather that's in good condition, especially in the first three years of vehicle, what you want to do is protect it against, again, friction damage, dye transfer, uh, liquid spills, dirt, UV rays to prevent fading and cracking from happening. So that's pretty much all you need is a leather sealant or a leather coating. So clean your leather, coat it and protect it, and then it's just a question of the maintenance cleaning. Stay on top of things and you guys are going to be super satisfied. I've always done this kind of a procedure for all the leather in all my cars and it has always looked brand new. Uh, my previous BMW M550i that I had for three years, by the way, was a testament. If you look at the uh, videos, the leather was in perfect condition. So uh, yeah, this looks pretty awesome. Again, I'm gonna leave the links to the products and tools in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. If that's the case, smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't done so yet, click consider clicking the subscribe button that's found under this video. That way you'll subscribe to my channel, continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. So guys, thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.